Hello, we're back on the virus channel for another song What's break time with Kuiper. Yes, sir. What's uh, going on? What's good? The song yeah. is kicking and screaming. So yeah. I basically want to know how did the whole song come about? So I was just like at my uh, music by my friend's house. His name's Expire, like one Expire on SoundCloud. He makes music too. Um, I was at his house and we were just like making like beats or just like a song or whatever. And I got um, a pack sent from um, Space, like a, it was like a loop pack. And I like listened to it on my phone and I was like, bro, I gotta go home and like make a beat on this right now. So <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. I just like listened to the melody and I was just like, holy fuck. And I just like ran home and just like made this beat. And then yeah, I just recorded on it that night. So and, and then yeah, it just like got the whole idea for the song down. So yeah. And how long ago was this? This was like three months ago. Um, it was like, yeah, I don't know, like before, like at the start of the summer, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, it was like a long time ago. Yeah, it took a while for the song to like fully finish. What do you think the reason was for that? Um, I don't know. I just couldn't, I, I couldn't get the right like feature for it. I like had some delays with the original feature, um, which was like, no, not a problem. And then, um, yeah, we just decided to just get a different feature for it, which is fine. Um, and then, yeah, I just wasn't also happy with like the final like recording for like a while. And like, we just couldn't find like the right vibe for the song. And then it just kind of all came together after like the last week after like well sent her verse. And then it just kind of all tied together and I got like the final mix for it down. And then, yeah, we just kind of put it out. Yeah. What keeps you going at that point when you're like not happy with the mix and like, why not just get the um, song and make a new song or what made you carry I just, it? I, cause just cause of the chorus, I knew that it was like really, I just, I knew the song had like a lot of potential. Cause I just like, I had the idea for the song still and I just like couldn't, I couldn't even stop like listening to it myself. Cause I was just like, I need to fix this. Like it needs to be fixed. Like I just, I don't know. I just had like a really strong feeling about it. And I just knew that like the chorus was really catchy. I'm like, I shouldn't just like scrap the song. Like it was just really important to me for some reason to just not like, just keep this song alive for some reason. I don't know. That's good. Yeah. I don't know. I just like, I just really wanted to make it like, um, as good as possible. It was also just kind of like a challenge to myself to like, really just make something like super professional and like, just have it like really clean cut and just like, a, I don't know, it could like it sound like, sound like it could be on the radio or something. I just wanted to like really mix it perfectly. So yeah. Um, and how did Wells end up on the song then? Um, I was originally going to ask um, her and um, the other feature, Twikipedia. Um, so we were going to both get on the song and then we just decided to just do Twikipedia for a bit. Um, and then they couldn't uh, get on it. I'm just, they're like really busy. So I just, uh, Wells just ended up hopping on it because I asked her eventually. Um, but yeah, she was like, I originally was, was going to get them both on it. And then, um, yeah, I just ended up going the other way and just having just Wells on it. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm happy with the uh, end result. Yeah, that's fair. And, yeah. Um, what or who was the main inspirational influence behind the song, would you say? Uh, I, I don't really know. I just like, nothing really. I just really want to make like a club song or like just like a, I don't know, just like a dance song. Like something to just like really just like groove to. I don't know. I didn't really have like an inspiration or anything I was listening to before that. I just, I, I only listen to like metal music. So I don't, there's like really no inspiration for that song. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what about the cover art? Who did the, what was the inspiration behind Oh that? yeah. Uh, shout out Anson Shada for the cover art. Yeah. Anson Shada did it from Silly Team. Uh, they're really good. Yeah. They just did it. It's uh, the cover art. Um, just to go a bit more in depth, it's from like Pretty Little Liars. Like it's from this one scene with like a masquerade party. I'm not familiar with the show, but um, yeah, uh, they just like picked that out and then they got this like, I don't know where they found the like the uh, thing on front in the front of it where it says like in the kicking and screaming gear worse. That shit was like, I don't know where the fuck they found that. But yeah, that was really fire. But yeah, they just they did it in like a day. So shout out Anson Shada for real. Nice.
And yeah. Did you name the song after you saw that, or was the song already named that before? Nah, I like I fr- I like freestyled the song. And I just said like kicking and screaming for some shit I can't believe. Um, I yeah, and then I just was like, that's a dope name for a song. <laughs> so I just put it as kicking <laughs> and screaming. I didn't. I just like yeah. I don't. I don't really have like a like thing for naming a song. I just like pick a word out of the song that I say and just name it that. Yeah. So yeah. The song's still very fresh, but are you happy with how the song's performed so far? Yeah, I'm really glad. Like it got received really well, and like it's like the it's like the fastest it's like a song's ever grown for me. So like, yeah, I'm really really happy with it. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm very glad people are receiving it well and think it's really good. So, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is the um, melody I got from Space. He just said, like sent it on an email pack, and I was like, "This shit's like insane." But I didn't, I didn't know like the direction I was gonna take with it. I just like heard it. I was like, "Holy shit!" I gotta do something with this. But yeah. Yeah, this is hard. And yeah, the bass kicks in right here. So yeah, that, I just let the I just left it like completely fresh. I just didn't do anything with it. I was just like, it's fucking perfect the way it is. And like the beat is like super simple after that. Like there's really nothing else to it. I just I literally just threw this kick on it, which has like I don't even know where the kick is. Yeah, I just do like a compressor. Um, and like just an EQ and a stereo shaper. So like without it, it just sounds like, like just pretty like, like nothing too beefy to it. So I just added like a compressor to like, like beef it up and then like filter it out and then spread it out. And I thought it added like a really like clubby feel to it. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to keep that. Like that's just the way it was. It's really simple. And then the original clap sound is like really light. Like I kind of designed, like I just made it so like you couldn't really hear it. It's just like. It's like just really light. There's nothing on it. Just like a compressor. Just that's the only knob I changed. Like nothing else to it. And then the one sound that's like the perk sound, it's literally a Looperman loop. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally Looperman, but I like I edited it a bunch. So like the original sample just sounds like this. So it's like, I don't know. It was really simple. And I just wanted to like spice it up a bunch. So I threw like a, a crusher on it. So I really wanted to sound it like 8-bit sort of. And then this gross beat to like really just like fuck it up. I just put on like complex three. Yeah. And then just like the stereo shaper EQ just like filter everything out. And then that with like the clap and like the so it's like really simple. And I just added like some perks and shit here just to like add some like, you know, some atmosphere yeah. and shit. And then, yeah, the only other sound other than that is literally just this perk to just fill out this, like, you know, just to fill it all out. Th- this is literally the whole beat. <laughs> That's yeah, to, it. To say, the melody. to say how fire the beat is, it is very, very simple. It's like, yeah, there's like literally nothing. It's like super simple for a beat. Like, I just wanted to make it like super simple and just like, you know, I don't know. Just like to keep the energy up and just like nothing too complex to it. And so you, like with that all in it, sorry. I was gonna say you said you did this all. So after you heard the loop, you did this the same night. You added all. Yeah, I literally went home as soon as I heard the loop. I just told my homie, I was like, "Hey, like I'm, I, I gotta go." Like <laughs> I literally was like, "Bro, I'm gonna go home and make." He was like, "Yeah, it's a fire loop. I don't blame you. Just, just go home." So he was just like making a his own song. So I was mm-hmm. like, and his house is like just down the street from mine. So yeah, um, yeah, I just went home and then just started making this. And then, yeah, I just kind of came up with the whole, I made the whole beat in the same, in that night, like the beat was pretty much done. I like touched it up a bit after, but like, yeah. And then, Mm -hmm. yeah. So like with it, with everything together, it just sounds like this. So I was like, it has, I don't know. I just was like the way it is, how simple it is. It has like a lot of groove to it. So I just left it like that. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's like literally the beat. What's um? Like a, no, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll get to this after. There's like a 
little beat switch at the end, but yeah. What were you saying? Uh, what genre would you say this is? Um, like EDM, like club dance. Like it, I think it just falls under that. There's like I, I didn't I don't know. I wouldn't say it's like like Digicore or like Lechcore or like hyper pop <laughs> or anything like that. Like I just fucking hate all that shit. So I just like it's just music. I got to know just like dance music, something you could play in the club. Like it's there's really no like thought to like what the sound was for it. Yeah. So I don't know. I just want to make something like vibey you could just like dance to. And then, you know, I just yeah, lyrics were just kind of like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But uh the outro you said? Yeah, the outro um I just like I'll just, you want to just get to that to the end. It's like at the, just the last part. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. So how do you like me to do this? You want me to just like start with like the uh, like recording process? Yeah, or like- yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but, but did um, you... um? Oh, yeah, you said you freestyled, right? Yeah, I don't really write anything. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I just kind of freestyle everything. Um, But yeah, I just kind of like just punched in like line by line and then just like harmonized it all and just like layered it all up. But yeah, so like, for the lyrics, it's just like, I don't know. It's my, um, where is it? Yeah, it's just like, uh, I don't know. It's like a pretty simple, um, what do you call it, thing, channel rack. I don't know. It's nothing crazy. It's just like a bit more beefy than what I usually do. I added a lot more bass than I usually do to my vocal mix. So just wanted to make it like a lot really clear cut and like nothing like super blasted out on like the high or low end. So yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I also added this little like reverse thing at the start, but yeah. I don't know. I just want to make the vocal cuts really clean and like as like clear as possible. But yeah, there's like, I don't know. There's nothing really like thought to the vocals. It's just like, or to the lyrics or anything. It's just kind of a freestyle. Mm. And then, um, yeah, I'll just show this like harmonized part, how I like layered it, I guess. So like, Without the main vox, it just kind of sounds like this with all the the backing vocals. It's really embarrassing because like I just sing it really high, but it like all layers together with like the bass vocals. I think. I don't yeah, know. it brings it all together. Yeah, yeah, the bass really just like ties it all together. And then like with all this, it just like with the bass of the melody too, it just sounds like really groovy. Yeah. But yeah, and then this is all just like I don't know. I don't I never usually do this shit when I do like these like glitch stuff like like that with like the vocals. Yeah. I don't I don't usually ever fucking do that shit. I just like threw that in there just because it's like I don't know. EDM dance song. Hey, you know, why not? But yeah, I just added like this little glass fill to it and then get yeah, some vocal chops and then these little like that. So I don't know. Yeah. Um yeah, the bridge was really simple. I just kind of kept it just the just like the melody, just the loop. I just kept it all the same. And then just threw in the clap there for the um like the pre-chorus slash chorus again. So mm-hmm. yeah. You want me to just like show this bridge part? Yeah, yeah. Okay. but yeah so that's like the whole bridge part so uh, and just like yeah and then i yeah like when the bass hit i wanted to add like a harmonic thing too so i just add like really simple i just threw another layer like it was just one other layer on top of it like it's really simple like just a little like harmonic preset i don't know yeah i know but i think it ties it all with like the bass and shit so yeah yeah definitely. that's pretty much it um yeah and then wells did her verse here um mm-hmm. and then there's like uh here i just kind of added like a little outro um a little beat switch i don't know i used the um the aim and break uh the aim and break sample for it 
obviously, because I just wanted to do like a DNB part mm-hmm. and the aim and breaks where you go. So <laughs> <laughs> I just I just grabbed that. Um, shout out the I forget the drummer. Shout out them, but yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, it's really simple. I just beat crushed the um the fucking melody so it just, and slowed it down. <laughs> All right, I just slowed down the whole like chorus part. Yeah. And then just added like this part. Like I just slowed down the aim and break too. Like it's, I didn't even chop it up. I just left it like that. And then mm-hmm. yeah, it just I don't know. It sounds really messy, but I liked it like that. I just wanted to keep it like really flown out at the end. Yeah. And then I just like glitched it out with like these parts. I just like added two more of these just to like just to like fuck it up at the end and then yeah. And I don't know. What made you go with the outro in general? Why not just leave? Leave it. Without? Um, I, I have really no idea. I was just like <laughs> bored, and I just was like, "What the like?" I'm just gonna see what happens here, and I just really liked it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it like um, it reminded me a lot of like Delete Seek, um, and like uh, Quantic, and, like that whole uh, yeah. break core style. I just wanted to like mm-hmm. get something like that. I don't know. I just been, I I love that whole um direction of music. So I just yeah. I wanted to incorporate a little bit of that at the end. Uh, as well and I just like kind of did it for fun and I just really liked the end result so I was just like mm-hmm. I'm just going to keep that as like a little outro thing so yeah uh, what's the thing at the bottom the tape stop what does that do the tape stop oh this is oh yeah I didn't cover this part this is like at the second part of the verse or on the, the second chorus I actually like added this tape stop part um, where I said like uh, and I can't find a way to get myself out of the gutter Usually the the second part of the chorus just starts immediately after that, but I just I I pushed the chorus like a few beats the other way, so it's actually like a different flow the second time around. So if you oh, listen okay. to it like here, so then like deep though starts right on that bar, but then here it doesn't. You see, it's like yeah. a, it's like a different flow. I just moved it to the side and then added this little like. Um, so I just I literally just took out the word gutter and then just. Oh wait, hold up. Oh, the, oh never mind. I thought this was the bite, the sound bite. It's not. This is like the little record scratch part. Um, yeah, it was this part. Yeah, just that, yeah. and then right here. It's like that part is the mm. gutter part. I just took. I literally just grabbed it and then put a bit crusher on it and then. Added this tape stop to make it all like. Yeah. So hard. yeah, just add that part, and then the whole flow switches on the second time around. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought I added some variation to the chorus because I already added the chorus in like three times. So I was just like, I'm just gonna switch it up a bit so it's not like as repetitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I thought I added a, a nice touch. So yeah, that's fine. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the whole song. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Capo, do you want to ask anything? Uh, no, not at the moment. <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to say about the song, Kaipo? Um, Nothing much. It's just like, I don't know. I worked really hard on it. It's like a passion project kind of thing. But yeah, just a lot of twisting knobs and exporting this thing like literally like 30. I think I exported it like north of 30 times. Just to get the sound right. Um, yeah. So I have like literally 30 versions of kicking and screaming on my computer. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that are just like different raw versions and different takes and different like mixing parts and just like literally different ex- exports just because like one thing was wrong. And yeah. Mm. So there's just like a whole fucking jungle version of these in a folder somewhere. And um, before but, yeah. Wells and Twicky like agreed to get on it. Did um had they heard the song prior or was you just like, hey, let's do a song? They was like, yeah. Um, nah, I had um I had like talked to them both prior a few times and we had like planned I like I just planned separately with both and that we just like get like a song in in general. Like we just talked a bit. They said they like um fuck with my music and they were just like, you know, um they just wanted to like get a song in at some point. So yeah, this was just like an open that I was gonna make. Like I had planned to make an open for both of them. I just made this open and I was like, hey, they should they could both hop on this. Got so, you, got you. Yeah. But yeah, I think uh mm-hmm. Twiki was just busy with um their album. 
So yeah, yeah. I don't know, but yeah, it's nothing, nothing major. Uh, yeah. So I appreciate you for coming on. Oh yeah, of course, um, man. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, uh, everyone go stream kicking and screaming. Yes, sir. You go buy merch too. Out now. Hell yeah. I'll link in the description yes, too. Beauty, thank you so much, man. Oh,